And speaking of the Ministry of Truth, DeSantis destroys it. He destroys them. I mean, here's the thing. Here's the great thing about federalism, podcast listeners. Federalism is the idea that is structured in our Constitution of the United States. And a lot of people don't understand it, and it's understandable why they don't, because of the word federalism. You think you're trying to federalize things. It's the opposite. Federalism is the state's decide and govern themselves because they are closest to the people. I mean, technically, the local government is closest to the people. The towns are closest. But the states under federalism have enormous amount of authority. And the hardest thing to do as an elected official, I think, is to uh, stop trying to pass more laws. And we see this all the time, right? Elected officials, they're, they're judged on how many laws did you pass this session? Oh, my gosh, you passed 20 laws. That's really great. To which I always say, uh, you know what? Engaging in constraint is the best thing and restraint, which is to try to, you know, like not pass any laws. In fact, let's take some laws off the books if we can. I mean, we have way too many laws. Way. I mean, as an example, in Maryland, this last 2022 session, there were more than 2000 bills introduced. More than 2000. Do you really think we need more than 2000 new laws in the state of Maryland? No, it's probably more like we need more than 2,000 less laws in the state of Maryland. But every single year, this continues, year out, year in. And so I'm talking about this idea and this concept of federalism because DeSantis takes the issue to its logical conclusion because he's the governor of Florida and he's basically like, look, you guys at the feds, you may do what you want because right now you're in charge of the federal government. But we in Florida, we're not going to abide by it. We're not going to tolerate it. And we're not going to put up with it. And we're not going to recognize it. You will not tell us what to do. Because we are a state. And we get to decide what is right for us. And most importantly, we're governed by the Constitution of the United States, not by the Ministry of Truth. Most importantly, it's the First Amendment, not the Ministry of Truth. First Amendment will always apply. So Florida Governor Ron DeSantis vowed to fight the Biden administration's proposed disinformation governance board Friday, (laughs) which he said was an attempt to censor ordinary people and impose narrative control. The Department of Homeland Security announced the formation of the board Wednesday, which will be run by Nina Jankowitz, a self-described disinformation expert. How do you become a disinformation expert, Chris? You know, it's like, I'm a disinformation expert. I have a degree in disinformation technology. You must be really good at putting it out so they know what it looks like. (laughs) So who previously attempted to to discredit the Hunter Biden laptop story? So yeah, this is the same idiot who said Hunter Biden's laptop was a Russia conspiracy. It wasn't real. It wasn't really Hunter's. So here's what's cool, right? While so many governors across America who are Republicans, are silent about this disinformation board. In my opinion, probably one of the single most dangerous things that's happened in American history is the even even the discussion of this idea that the federal government should have this role. Uh, DeSantis spoke out. The other governors, uh, you know, maybe they're not getting airtime and I haven't seen them talk about it. But truth be told, you would think that they would be on various news outlets talking about this. I haven't heard any of them speak about what they're going to do in their own states to stop this craziness. Well, DeSantis does. We have that clip, and here it is. As if they don't have enough issues to deal with, they now have an idea, and I honestly thought this was just a belated April Fool's joke, But they are actually going to create in the Department of Homeland Security a Bureau of Disinformation. It's basically a ministry of truth. And what they want to do is they want to be able to put out false narratives without people being able to speak out and fight back. They want to be able to say things like Russia collusion and and perpetuate hoaxes and then have people like us be silenced. They want to be able to advocate for COVID lockdowns. They want to be able to advocate for school closures, things that are not supported by the evidence. But then when you speak out, uh, they want to stifle dissent. 
And so we reject this bureau in the state of Florida. So there you have it right there. There you have a governor who actually is doing the job of the people saying, look, the reason we have federalism, the reason we have states' rights, the reason we have governors of states, and the reason we have our own legislatures is because we're not going to put up with this stuff that the federal government's trying to tell us to do and the federal government's trying to impose upon the citizens of our state. And our state, where we control the federal government, this idea of the Ministry of Truth will not apply in our state. And I haven't heard any other governor in America talk about this. Not a single one, okay? Republican or Democrat. Which tells you, which tells you all that you need to know in the United States of America right now, that there are states that you can go to that are safe havens right now for the First Amendment and for the Constitution of the United States. And then there are states that are not necessarily that safe to be in. If you at least value the First Amendment and you value the Second Amendment. And of course, this Ministry of Truth, I mean, we could go on forever about this. But the fact of the matter is, if you truly believe in the Constitution of the United States and you are an elected official, you have an obligation to come out publicly against this nonsense. You have an obligation. And to the extent that you haven't done so, especially governors of states, you should be gone. You should, you should, by gone, I mean, you should be removed from office because this is the conversation, really, in my opinion, of our lifetime. It literally, underpins all that we've been experiencing with big tech censorship. And now that big tech is losing their monopoly, you've got the government saying, well, now that you're losing your monopoly, big tech tech for the left wing, we're going to adopt the left wing, uh, you know, ministry of truth to make sure that we control all narratives moving forward. So good for Governor DeSantis of Florida for destroying the idea of the ministry of truth in Florida.